classmates. Um, my persuasive speech is going to be about taking action to end world hunger. Um, 98% of people suffering from hunger live in developing countries like Africa, India, Asia, and nearly eight, uh, 824 million people are suffering from hunger. Hunger kills more people every year than AIDS, malaria, and tuberculosis combined. And what are we doing to stop it? Um, hunger is all around us. Um, and for our countries, even in our communities, and sometimes even in our own household. My, cred my credibility is that I work in a ministry at my church, and we help the homeless, we help people to provide food, and that's how I'm taking action to stop world hunger. Um, hunger is, is a growing issue, and the U.S. and ourselves are not doing anything to prevent it. People have the power to change the world, and we are not helping world hunger because eight, like I said, eight hundred twenty-four million people are suffering, and we are ignoring the situation. So first, I want to tell you what is world hunger and why should we care. World hunger is a form of malnutrition or undernutrition around the world. The, the meaning of, of malnutrition is a lack of nutrition, nutritional elements that are necessary for human health. According to World Food um, Program Me, um, copyrighted 2014, says that malnutrition is the largest single contributor to disease. So you can get anything from not eating healthy. Because our immune system is really low and it doesn't help us fight any of the diseases. The reason why we should care is because malnutrition is around us every day. Um, it causes diseases that won't let people and children grow and be healthy. Okay. Now I'll talk to you about the causes of world hunger. The cause of world hunger has many reasons. According to the WP, WFP, he says, this is a poverty trap. And people living in poor situations cannot afford nutritionist food for themselves and their family. This mistake, I'm sorry, this makes them weaker and less able to learn to earn money at, that would help them escape poverty and hunger. I read something the other day and said that we have enough food to feed the whole world, but why is it not reaching to the foreign countries or the homeless in our backyard? Um, it's because we're in a poverty trap. Uh, trap sorry. And people that are, don't eat or feel really weak is because they don't have um, nutritionist foods, like WFP says. And people are not earning money, and they can't escape poverty or the hunger. Another leading cause is not being educated. People in the foreign countries, also here, like the homeless, um, they're not educated. They can't get work to earn money to feed themselves. So. Um, something that we could do that I'll later explain is being educated that would help stop it. Another one is a lack of investment in agriculture. Over there in the foreign countries, um, their, their crops should be look, looking like this, but at the end they look like this. And that also, we need to invest more in helping them, that's because that's how they plant and harvest their food. And the climate and weather doesn't help over there either because of um, the hotness or the snow or the crops die out. And that's why there isn't a lot of harvest over there. The most popular here in America is food wastage. Um, my mom was telling me the other day that McDonald's, Burger King, all the restaurants have extra food, but they're just throwing it away. And I thought to myself, if people if the companies could donate that food, then there would be less homeless that are hungry and less homeless asking for money. Um, okay, next one. Then I will talk about how we can take action. Us as college students, we have the power to become future leaders that change the world. And I truly believe that. College students, um, you and me, and the whole university, even other universities, we can 
have a lot of food donations or food drives. Um, we can also donate money to organizations so that we can give the money to get food for the foreign countries, even in our backyard homeless people. Um, we can also bring awareness to people that don't know about the subject, and that's a big one we can do. The Atlantic County or local communities can access credit for people who are homeless that need food or a home food, um, or a home. This one really impacted me because I didn't know that we can ask for um, credit to give to people. And the credit, we, um, we can access the credit and the community or the other county or whatever county we live in can pay that off. So the homeless or the people that don't work or from the foreign countries, they won't have to pay for it. Um, educating people to live and work and provide for themselves. There's a lot of things that we can do for people that, um, for the homeless, like we can help open new schools or we can help them learn to do basic things um, for every day. Um, for the foreign countries, according to WFP, says one way um, to improve is land management. Like I was saying that we need to have better crops or we have to have better um, harvests. So using water more efficiently, making more resistant seeds to type, um, this more resistant seeds is to help bring the improvement. So they would go through the rain, the hotness, the climate, and they won't, damp they won't die as easily as when they have lack of water or um, lack of water or, sorry, <laughs> or nutrition for the ground, the soil. Also, education in the foreign countries is a big part because um, teaching people to farm and the government should also provide sustainable food um, for the harvest and, like I said, the climate. But we can teach people how to relearn how to farm. We can teach people to. Um, to work or to manage farms and to crop. Okay, next one. So I have talked about um, what is world hunger, why is it important, why should we care. We have gone over the causes, and lastly we have gone over how we can take action. Um, I really like what um, Take Action the Hunger Copyright in 2013 said. The fight against deadly malnutrition is at crossroads today. For the first time in history, the prospect of ending child's death from acute malnutrition is within our reach. And as I did the whole presentation, I thought to myself, it's right around the corner. Like, our future to end with hunger is around the corner if we bring awareness, if we do food drives, if we help teach people. And kids in Africa, kids here in um, the United States and Asia and India, they would look at this, happy and enjoying their life. And I like this quote that says, if we change our thoughts from it's too late to there's still hope, we might have a chance to change the world. Thank you. Thank you.